Hey guys, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com. We're doing a review on the Inkbook Classic 2 by Artitech. You guys can pause the video at any point in time if you want to view these specs. I'm just going to hold them up to the camera here. So you can say dual core, so you can see, sorry, not say, I wanted to say, dual core A9, 1 gigahertz, all that. So pause the video there. Also have it right here so you guys can read in multiple languages. And this is the front of the box. The e-reader itself is pretty nice. It's a conventional sunken screen and bezel like you can see here. It's got a physical button on the outside, physical page turn buttons, that's great, on either side. The top and all the sides are clean. The back has a nice kind of artistic design with these little things. And the power button has this little indented line that goes all the way down to the USB, which is kind of fun. Uh, you also have a micro SD card slot there and an embossed inkbook logoing there. So this is running Android and that's going to be the main focus of this is that it does have apps. It will have um, an app store, which is the, e which is the inkbook store. Uh, Honestly, there isn't really a lot here. There are about nine or ten apps total. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to be biased, but if you download the Goody Reader App Store, we have about 30,000 e-ink apps available. So it's nine versus 30,000. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> you know, just throwing that out there, we recommend downloading our App Store on here, obviously, because it just has so much more. But we did download the Amazon Kindle app. Uh, you see there's a news app, there's a dictionary, their own bookstore, so you can buy books from the bookstore. We'll take a look at that real quick here. Primarily all the books in the bookstore will be Polish because the Inkbook Classic, or I guess Artitech, is a Polish company. Uh, let's do a firmware update, not now. So yeah, you can download stuff, and there will be some English titles on here, but uh, it will all be in Polish dollars, Polish currency, Polish, uh, you know, um, language. So we recommend downloading maybe the Amazon app like you see here because that way you can download stuff from Amazon directly. It has an internet browser. So you can browse the internet anywhere you want to go, anything you want to click. You'll see that we're, I already typed in Goody Reader blog so you can see when that boots up. Boots up relatively quick, dual core processor. It scrolls all right. There's not really too many too much like artifacting or ghosting it moves pretty nice it's kind of like an a2 mode so it 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 degrades the image so you can move it around and then when you let go it kind of renders so we'll just go into a book here because we want to show you guys books obviously we're a goodie reader so we're gonna go all the way home we'll click on a book that we downloaded Now, FYI, once again, this is Android. You can download any book reader app you want. This is just the default one. It's not economical for us to show you 8 million different applications, but this is the default one. So the default one has a little bit of a few ways to change your text, change your font faces, and some page settings. This is also really cool. Not only does it alter the text, it shows you the bar of where, to, where it is. So like, I know um, some e-readers use two fingers or pinch and zoom to change the text, but this one actually does so with the, um, uh, the bar at the top, so that's pretty cool. You have long press, ability to long press, you can highlight, note, copy, more is just search on the web, so it's pretty bare bones. The beauty of this, actually I'll go back to that, because the beauty of this is you can use the physical page turn buttons on either side of the device to change the page, so you can just basically hold it in one hand when you're on the bus or whatever the train and you can go from there so yeah um, you have your library your apps your media I, I, uh, midi midi appless I believe they call it drive um, it's kind of a like cloud storage the bookstore and internet we just went over the fundamentals it's it's hard to um, <clears throat> do reviews on Android e-readers because people always say, oh, what about this app? What about this app? What about this app? There are hundreds of, there's millions of apps out there. Uh, it's not easy for us to show you, you know, 30 or 40 apps. The video would be half an hour long just showing you a handful of apps, whether it can or cannot work on this. Not everything obviously can work on this device, but it is a good stepping stone into a 
e-reader that is running full Android. So if you guys have any questions, comments, let us know. And for goodyreader.com, this is Peter, and this has been the e the Ink Book Classic 2 by Artitech.